most exciting fighters I've seen from Dragon Power. This, of course, his last fight tonight. Uh, he's hanging up his gloves from the professional circuit after this. So I'm sure he's going to want to leave his fans with a great taste in their mouth. Um, Intercati, a no slouch. He is a good fighter. Carries a lot of muscle, very strong. And Jared's going to have to make sure he doesn't get into the clinch with this guy. Yeah, he's a solid fighter from Durban tonight. Oh, what a right kick there. And another. Jared up there. Great tip. Jared using the ropes to his advantage, though. Silky smooth on the return there with his nice tip there from the target. You see that Jared taking that tip to the, the stomach and just not even minding it. Oh, lovely right kick. Sending his opponent to the ground. Jared definitely one of the most core trainers I've seen. He is so in shape, so fit. And if it goes five rounds, you've got to put your money on him. Oh, definitely. The conditioning on Jared is just unreal. This man knows how to work in ab or eight. Oh, big left knee from Jared there. He's there looking very focused, though. He's not going to lie down for Jared, that's for sure. Both fighters showing some nice uh, aggression, but also some nice restraint. Jared looking very focused, very relaxed. Two big right kicks there. These guys are still feeling each other out. There's five rounds of professional Muay Thai to go. This is where it all comes down to experience. With you rushing in there. Jared knows, just to feel his opponent out. Wow. Oh, and the spinning back kick from the Panther Pride fighter. This is something the Panther fighters do do. My opinion, it's a, it's a bit dangerous. Opening themselves up if they don't connect. But he will do it again, you mark my words. Very risky maneuver. I think this is what Panther is always down for. They take the big risks. It's like speculating on the stock exchange, big risk, often big reward. Sometimes you get to lose it all. And we've seen it happen before. There you go, Jared just taking the calmer approach. He's working the legs, looking for an opening. These guys are really prowling each other out here. Like two wolves over a deer carcass. Solid teeps coming from both corners there. And this really marks the difference between the, the fights we've seen earlier this evening to the professional fighters, is the use of the team. Yeah, I think uh, you've got eight weapons to use. Often the guys without experience tend to forget which weapon they've got in their arsenal. These fighters with this experience, they will know exactly when to bring them out. Oh, a lovely right kick to the chest from Jared Rathal there. Yes. Right Viler, just feeling things out. End of a very good first round there. I think uh, on points that's got to be quite an even split. Jared just showing some nice technical stuff coming through there in the end. Yeah, if anything, I think Jared maybe landed one, two more punches and kicks. But like you said, very, very close. We are getting ready with Marlon Rosen starting round two. Nice exchange of kicks there coming from Jared and oh some solid elbows landing there and a following up with a big knee. Piwe fighting back nicely, controlling Jared in the clinch. Not letting his knees come up there. Good effective use of the legs. Very technical Muay Thai coming from both the guys now. Jared trying to work his way in and under in the clinch there. Not having too much success. And Marlon breaks up the fighters. Oh, well caught in the teeth there by Jared. A big elbow. Jared's corner egging him on. Finish it off. Oh! oh. That was a huge throw. Preempted by two big knees to the, the midriff of the, the fighter from Panther Pride. Uh, P.O.M. Takaji firing himself up there after that exchange. He got thrown to the floor quite unceremoniously. 
Jared, straight back in there. Ntakatsi is looking amped, but he definitely got the, got the, the Jared Rothwell right behind a treatment there. Oh! Solid jab from Jared there. Sends him Ntakatsi straight to the mat. Ntakatsi is definitely looking a little shaken here. As he got up, I saw those eyeballs swimming a little bit. That's not a good sign for the Panther Pride fighter. Yeah, and he's just opened straight up. Huge right knee to the chest. Two more knees. Oh, he's down. What a knee from Jared Rothon. He's cut him open on the chest, taken him to the ground. I don't see him getting up. He's pouring blood from his head. And to keep us down, Jared Rothon showing why he is one of the premier Muay Thai fighters. And look at the respect. It's one of the biggest blood gushing wounds I've ever seen in my time at UMF. He took such a right knee to the forehead, it is ridiculous. That was a solid knee right to the front of the head. I haven't seen blood come out of someone's head ever. Unbelievable. It was literally pouring like it was coming out of a tap. Of course, we had the best medical staff here. The doc is in the ring looking after him already. You can trust that these fighters are always looked after. There we go, he gets to his feet. Bravery, heart. I expect nothing less from the Panther Pride gym. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Jared the Rottweiler Rothwell.